Okay, so welcome to a little talk on pastoral care at the Cedars. Um, this is Mr. Davis here, and um, we'll just talk through. It's going to be a, about a 10 minutes, if that, um, talk. Now, um, you might think, you know, what is pastoral care? Well, pastoral care um, in most schools is, um, I suppose, your heads of year and your, maybe there's a kind of an assistant head or a deputy head who's in charge of kind of looking after the pupils. Um, but I'm going to take a little quote from our behaviour policy, um, Slightly, slightly different to behaviour policy from a pastoral care, but I think this kind of encapsulates some of what we're trying to do. And it says, it's a primary aim of the school that every member of the school community feels valued and respected and is treated fairly. Our values are built on mutual trust and respect for all. Well, I think that's a, a good sort of starting point, point really. Um, and then we'll kind of move on to some pastoral care aims. Um, and so what are we trying to do in pastoral care in the school? Well, we aim that pupils are kind of safe at school and also outside of school. So whilst we have you know, responsibility for you here, um, your parents kind of entrust us to you um, and, the, and therefore giving the responsibility of, of your care kind of in loco parentis in place of the parent. Um, the, uh, you know, the school and, and all the staff and um, uh, teachers and others in the school will have to have various things in mind when they're exercising their positions to do so in school. So I suppose safe in terms of safety, we have a collective responsibility to ensure everyone is safe whilst in school, as well as outside of school. Um, we'd like you to be happy at school and, 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 and outside of school as well. And sometimes, obviously, if uh, you know, there's a bit of homework that you don't want to do or, you know, somebody's... Uh, you know, maybe you're getting a bit of a uh, in, interest for not not tidying your room and things like that. It might make you unhappy, but um, and these are things we can deal with. Um, so they can be kind of as a you know we we know that we're trying to during our lives they're trying to kind of uh, deal with challenges that present themselves either at school or at home, and they can be as mundane as things like homework and um, or even much more challenging situations. You know, if you're uh, feeling unhappy about something, it's often good to talk through the issue with someone else, and I'll come to that in a moment. Um, we'd like all pupils to be able to contribute well to the society around them. Um, this is one aspect that we hope to encourage more in the coming months. Consideration of those around you and, and looking out for each other is one way that we can all start doing this. So I'd encourage you to do that. Um, and I think, finally, we'd like you to become the best versions of yourselves um, that you can be. I suppose it's in the daily struggles and the daily challenges that we find, little ones, um, and I guess, and also the people that are around us um, that help form us. So our aim here is to take the challenges and opportunities, um, as well as the more obviously good experiences, as it were, and use them to improve ourselves, um, to become the best version of ourselves for other people. So I spoke about um, you know, sharing problems uh, before and, um, and issues. I mean, who can I talk to if things aren't going very well? Well, it's very. There's some very obvious. Um, uh, points here and I'm sure you know you've got somebody already in your mind you know an adult maybe at school or somewhere else that you you could talk to um, but what I'd say before starting this is that different personalities work well with others and some not and it may be that the person you think you would be able to go and uh, talk to and they'd be able to listen or help when you have a concern will be very different from others and and I suppose this the answer to this question is that there's no right answer and um, there's a variety of different people you could speak to I mean, an obvious one because of uh, relationships and friendships that you build up within um, within class and around school. Um, you might have a particular affinity with an individual teacher and feel like they could help you. So that's that's perfectly reasonable. Your tutor, I mean, taking the opportunity to speak with a tutor, not just waiting for the next tutorial, but going and finding them. That might be good for you, might work for you as well. Your head of section, uh, Mr. Doran, Mr. Ricks, Mr. Potter. They're more available than most teachers due to their position in the school. Um, and they have great experience in all sorts of situations. I mean, they've uh, they've seen many, they've educated many boys throughout the year, and and often we are in a position where we think we have a problem. We think we're the only person who's ever had that problem or that issue, and and by and large you won't be. You won't be the first, and you probably won't be the last. So um, obviously, that it's specific to you in your case. Um, but um, many of these, uh, the heads of section and and other people that I'm going to talk about, have great experience and can help you navigate through your particular set of circumstances, I'm sure, very well. Um, 
as myself, I, I'll come to my, on my, onto my role in the school in a minute, but just to let you know, you can come and speak with me at any point. Um, I'll be happy to stop what I'm doing and talk with you. And I think the same is true of Mr. T, Dr. Vigili. Um, one of the, 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 you know, the issues in the school is that, you know, um, uh, whilst we know who our, you know, our senior leaders are, because we have uh, fewer teaching hours, we don't get to teach, um, we don't get to kind of build those relationships in the same way as, as other teachers. Um, but I do know from my own experience that both Mr. Teague and Dr. Vigili are very willing and very helpful, very experienced with, with uh, when someone has a problem. So please don't consider them off limits either, um, if you think they're the best people to speak with. Any other adult is a, it would be another suggestion. Um, all adults in schools have the responsibility to look after you and as such will be able to listen and help. Okay, so this, this word safeguarding, which is um, uh, probably new to most of you. Um, as part of pastoral care in schools, teachers, um, ha ha all schools have nominated teachers to be in charge of something called safeguarding. Well, what, what is safeguarding? Well, it means, it means the following. It's kind of protecting children from abuse and maltreatment, protect, prevent harm to children's health or development, ensure children grow up with the provision of safe and effective care. And for most of you, it won't be an obvious concern, but for some it might. Um, and if not for yourself, then you may have a friend that you might be having a concern about in, in some way. So at the CEDARS, the following people have responsibility for safeguarding all members of the school. There's myself, I, I have the, the title of Designated Safeguarding Lead. Um, Mr. Ashton is a, is a Deputy de Designated Safeguarding Lead, as is Mr. Potter. It doesn't mean these are the only people you can talk to about any issues at all. It just means that we have the responsibility to react appropriately. Sometimes uh, we work with outside agencies, councils and others if need be. But also that we're responsible for the training of staff and record keeping within school. Um, I said it was going to be quite a quick uh, little video, and, and it is. It's just to kind of highlight those things for you to say um, who, you, who you could go to and, and what we'd like um, uh, you to know about it. Um, if you do have any questions about this, um, then do feel, feel free to, to come and ask me at any point. Um, it's often better, obviously, if, if this is in a real life assembly, and then we can have a kind of open forum. But um, you know, I'm very f happy to talk to anybody should they wish. Okay, uh, hope you have a good day and um, I'll see you soon.